tis the season for lost and damaged packages hey guys it's Charmis Idris here from Charmed Bath and Body and today I just wanted to bring you a quick video on how to file a claim with USPS because I know things are getting damaged and lost this year more than ever probably so um, I already have to file a couple so let's go ahead and get started So this process will help you if your package is shipped through USPS only and if it is insured. So with the priority mail, it is insured up to $100, I want to say, yes, $100. Um, so you're fine up to there. You can add additional insurance. Usually if I'm shipping something more than that, I do like to ship it through the USPS website instead of Etsy because Etsy has its own additional insurance and it is through ship insurance um so that's a different way of filing the claim but today we're just going to talk about usps filing a claim so let's go ahead and dive into my computer so first things first we'll go to usps.com and then go over to the help tab and go down to filing a claim and it'll give you additional information of course about how to file a claim and when to file a claim so I'm gonna go ahead and expand all so step one is checking filing periods and I am doing priority mail and it was lost um, so you can file it after 15 days but you have to file it before 60 days and I am in that time period so I'm gonna keep going and then I'll say gather your documents and if you're an Etsy seller all of that information will be right on Etsy so tracking evidence of insurance purchased proof of value proof of damage so if you are doing a damaged package make sure you get all the pictures you can from your customer and then we can go ahead and file a claim and you can do it by mail as well but yeah we're just going to do it online <laughs> So first, you will need the tracking number and the shipping date. So I'll go over here to Etsy and tracking number. Shipping date was December 4th. So December 4th. And search. All right. And then I'll ask you the reason for the claim. And I'm just going to say lost. And then fees paid. I did not pay any additional fee. And if this is for a international package, there was another tab to go to for that. This is just for domestic on this first tab. And then you can do this as the mailer or recipient. Since I was the mailer, of course, I'm going to click mailer. And then my address will come up because I already have a... Um, profile with USPS and then next you need to put in the recipient address so first name last name company name street address all that good stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now and I'm really just copying and pasting this from Etsy because I don't want to get anything wrong the next step is to add your payment address but if you already have your USPS profile your stuff will already be in there and then now to step six describe your package contents and upload any associated proof you can add up to 10 items as long as they're included in the same tracking number so for this order I have bath salts and bath bombs two four six eight and I do have eleven but that's fine. So I will just go type in rose, oops, rose bath bomb. Item type. Let's see, what would it be? Home product, I guess. Arts and crafts. That's really up to you. And then item description. Just describe the item. <laughs> And then the purchase date again 
December well she purchased it on December 1st and I shipped it out December 4th so amount requested and then how much so how much is it and on Etsy you can go ahead and go over to print and then do order receipts you don't actually have to print it you can just screenshot it and then you'll see you know quickly how much each thing was and you can just save it and add it and upload it up to the um, USPS website so they were three dollars each so when it says upload proof of value I'll go ahead and upload that order receipt that I just showed you guys because um, it's just plain and simple where it was going where it was coming from and you know how much each thing was what each thing was and then I'll add another item and then just keep doing it for each one so the next one will be you know jasmine bath salt and it'll just say upload image and I'm just going to upload the same image um, and you can do that as a JPEG or a PDF I usually just do them all as JPEGs because it's much easier and then step seven is simply just giving your claim a nickname so that you're able to recognize it later. And when I did my last claim, this was, it wasn't during the holiday season. I got the check, I think it was 13 days later um, in the mail for the full amount of what I put in there. So yeah, it was very plain and simple. And make sure you add the shipping cost in there as well because if you are going to refund their money, you're going to refund everything including the tax and everything so just make sure you get your money as well because you didn't lose the package they lost the package i haven't had to file an international claim yet but of all the domestic claims i've done i've never had an issue they just send me my check um i never had to, to pr provide anything extra i try to do it all the first time around because i don't like to touch things twice i like to just go ahead and get it out the way um and then I just refund my customer. So I sincerely hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability or point you in the right direction if I don't know for sure. So thanks for watching. Bye.